now been removed. There's a lot more work to be done. And when the president's talking about that work, he's talking about getting the diplomatic path back, uh, you know, back into some kind of swing. John, John, your point about, about, John. What are your fears as Hamas free groups? What are your chief concerns? Well, obviously, we're going to be watching to see what they do here. Um, um, though they have been, as I said, the leadership decimated, military structure decimated, uh, but they still are uh, a presence in Gaza, um, and they still do have some capability. So uh, we're certainly going to be watching that carefully. Um, and I've seen some statements out of them today, uh, you know, basically pledging to continue the, the conflict and continue the war. Um, they are in such a dramatically weakened position. It's difficult to see from where we sit that they could perpetrate anything close to what they did on the 7th of October. But that doesn't mean that they aren't still lethal uh, to, to some degree. And so we're going to have to watch that carefully. So two things. One, we're going to continue to support Israel with defensive capabilities. And that's not going to stop. Um, just because Mr. Sinwar is gone doesn't mean that uh, we're – uh, we're, we're going to, in some in some way, diminish our support to, to Israel and their defense capabilities. Two, as the president said last night to you all, this is an opportunity now to really step up and see what we can explore in terms of opportunities for a diplomatic solution and getting a ceasefire in place. We have to all, as we sit here, I mean, and today, those hostages are still being held somewhere in Gaza, uh, likely in tunnels, and uh, their lives are still greatly at risk. Um, and there's a, a keen sense of urgency. There has been, of course, uh, but now with Mr. Sinmar's passing, it really underscores for us um, how uh, urgent it is to, to see what we can do to get those hostages home. And you heard Prime Minister Netanyahu say the same thing yesterday. Let me ask you.